Hey guys, we're here today using a team with five evolutions and a Chiyu. So hopefully you enjoy, and if you do and you want to see some more content like this, of course, like and subscribe. Figured this would be a fun way to kick off the Regulation C Part 2 ladder, so answer the comment question of the day. Um, I guess, what's your favorite evolution? I was going to ask something relating to the format, but I'll, I'll ask that tomorrow. What's your favorite evolution? Mine's definitely Glaceon. It's one of my favorite mods of all time. You guys see it in the outro. It's literally like my number two. Uh, but let me know what you guys' thoughts are in general, and what's your favorite evolution? Uh, we're taking on Grimmsnarl, Chien, Pao, Dondozo, Tatsugiri, and then they have Flamigo, and Murkrow. So that's objectively speaking a Toxic Orb Tatsugiri, which is good to note. That is a pretty important thing to play around. Uh, they're probably going to lead off with like Murkrow plus... Well, oh, you know what? They might be going for Parasong. It's probably going to be like Murkrow plus Tatsugiri. If they're not toxic orb or maybe they'll go with like grim and then they're gonna definitely go with like dendozo flamigo in the back the the champ is just not actually gonna come to this game i'm gonna bring sylveon uh, not sylveon um i'm gonna bring chiu and i'm gonna bring i think i'm gonna bring the let's see so i don't have a way to clear status right nope no way to clear status i could bring umbreon um umbreon should be a decent ish check um actually no i'm gonna lead i'm gonna lead with uh sylveon i'm bringing vaporeon in the back and I think that my final mod will be Jolteon just because it has the Focus Ash, and that could be useful for Flamigo. Um, if I'm running on a different Terra type, I might have gone for it, like if I had a Terra Fairy or something. Uh, but sadly, it is Stab. Most of these are Stab Terra types, uh, which I'm honestly not too against. Because uh, in most cases, like like Terra Fairy, for example, is pretty good, especially with the fact we don't have Terra Blast. Uh, Jolteon's Ice, it's one of the only coverage ones. In fact, Jolteon... Uh, okay, actually, I guess half of these are, but for what it's worth, the Leafeon's Normal, which technically speaking is a base type for Eevee. Uh, only Jolteon and Vaporeon actually have, like, coverage-based ones, though. They're both ice. So, my opponent's gonna lead off with Tatsugiri Murkrow. That's fine. Um, let's see. I think I'm just gonna go for a Heat Wave here. And then I'm gonna go for a... I think I'm gonna go for a Hyper Voice with the... With the, uh, Sylveon, yeah. Uh, because this should be decent. If they switch out, that's fine. They're probably just gonna click Protect on Tatsugiri. Okay, so be it. We'll kill the Murko at least. I don't really care about our timer with either of these mods, to be honest. Yep, Parish Song goes off. Okay, so be it. Um, yeah, I'll, so what I'll probably end up doing... Uh, okay, so it doesn't affect something. <laughs> so Chiyu is completely immune because of the fact that we do have, of course, the Dark Typing. Uh, so it's a huge reason, of course, not to burn Terra right away on that mod. Uh, but also just the fact that in general, Sylveon and Chiyu do just in general form a really strong core here. Uh, but... Yeah, so the Sylveon and Chiyu do break the Murkrow that's already cleared. They're definitely going to go into the... They're, they're definitely going into the uh, Dozo here. They are Toxic Orb as well. Okay, so they're double, I guess. Uh, good on my opponent. That's fine. I'm not really too scared of the core. I know what it does. I'm just going to proceed to switch out because I now actually need Sylveon to quick attack the Flamigo later on. Just in case it is Focus Ash. So we're actually going to keep Chiyu in. Um, Chiyu doesn't really actually need to do anything the rest of this game, to be completely honest. Um, I can actually just let it go down entirely. Um, what I'm gonna do, just in case if they do burn a Terra on Dozo, I'm just gonna go for Heat Wave. One, because I'm Scarf Locked and that'll hit. But two, I can also do stuff like try and burn on Dozo. Uh, I can try and just, I can do a lot of things. But we are gonna switch here. We are gonna go into Vaporeon. Uh, I'll most likely Terra the Sylveon later on, because the Terra Fairy Quick Attack could actually do a lot of damage. I'll be, we'll do a lot of damage anyway, but it could, of course, help to do even more. Uh, this Vaporeon should at least be a decent check to Dundozo if they wave crash my Sylveon. I think they've realistically just earthquaked, but it still helps regardless. Uh, Sylveon, anyway, can also just go for like a yawn this turn, which helps. We are. Ooh, oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's fine. We'll bring in the Jolteon here, and then I'm gonna proceed to go for a Protect and Jolteon. Actually, can I even go for Protect and Jolteon? I don't think I can. I think I do just need to attack this mod altogether, which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go for Protect on Vaporeon. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for Protect on Vaporeon, and then I'm going to bring in the Jolteon here, and I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt. Um, I could also just go for, like, a Thunder Wave. Hmm. Let's see. No, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt here, and then I'm going to go for a Protect. I want to try and get to the point where I can maybe try and stall around this. I don't know if it'll happen, but I'm going to hope. I could also just crit Dendozo. That would obviously be helpful. Um, oh, like Thunder Wave instead. All right, well, this still has Merit. I could obviously just keep parrying this down. If I parry this down, I can keep a Sash intact. So I can Dozo get fully parried. 
Nope, it's gonna go for Earthquake. God damn it. Okay. So we're gonna get brought down to our Focus Sash. Uh, not the best, not the worst either. Uh, thankfully, Flamigo's only really single targeting options, so I'm pretty okay with that. Because now that Dendozo is slower, I could actually maybe guarantee an attack on the Flamigo here, which could be decent. Um, we'll go for a... Hmm. I think, honestly, I'm just going to try and go for a double protect. Because either way... So this Dendozo is slower now than my Vaporeon, which is good. Um, but I don't really care about status sickness. Uh, yeah, so I think that my best play is just going for the protect on both mods. Vaporeons might fail. I'm willing to take that because... I could also obviously just get a full pair on Dozo, and that's kind of going to be my out here. On hindsight, maybe not bringing Leafeon was a bit of a misplay, um, especially with Leaf Blade being able to crit, but I did think that they were going to tear up. Plus, it, it hurts me a lot in the Flamigo matchup. I was kind of thinking more about that. Uh, in hindsight, though, I think over Vaporeon, this might have been helpful, because this Vaporeon is just not taking hits as well as I hoped it would be. Um, we do take that hit, thankfully. Uh, it's good to hear. Um, okay. So... They're going to definitely lose the Tatsugiri here, which is good. Um, I'm going to proceed to go for a Yawn and a Thunderbolt into the into the Flamigo here. I could also go for, for like an Ice Beam or like a Muddy Water, but I think that Yawn and Thunderbolt are going to be my best plays. Uh, the Thunderbolt is essentially just to break any Sash, and then Yawn is that way that I can protect around it the next turn and then put it to sleep, which could be decent. Um, the Dendozo is obviously going to do a lot of damage to us. It's fine. I'll just kind of have to make that work. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt here. And we're going to go for Yawn. I kind of just need to hope I pair the Dendozo, to be honest. Uh, if it, it's going to definitely just go for Earthquake, which, so be it. Uh, definitely not exactly a great start. I can't lie. I think I could have probably played around this a little bit better. They're going to close combat with Vaporeon. Okay, perfect. So they are at least letting me go for the Flamigo here, which is decent. Because I think that Sylveon could maybe muscle the Dendozo if I'm lucky. Um, I, I will definitely need to get lucky. Like, I'll need a full pair this turn, I think. But I could maybe do it. Third Life Warp. Okay. So that's also useful. Um, oh, I clicked Thunder Wave again. God damn it. I keep clicking Thunder Wave instead of Thunderbolt. Well, maybe I could full pair both these mods. Uh, Sylveon might even be able to outpace... Uh, nope, okay. So, unfortunate. Uh, well, let's see. Can I at least... Uh, if I can... If I can full pair into the... Into the Flamigo here, I might actually be able to make something work. I'll probably need to full pair both mods, truthfully, because it's a plus three Dundozo now. And I'm assuming that at least Wave Crash will kill. I should have Terra Theory just for more damage. Um, I'm not sure how much that'll matter, but it might. It might at least now take away any chance of like killing with a crit or something. They're going to just Brave Bird anyway. Okay. That's fine. Uh, unfortunate game one, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, I still feel confident that in game number two, we'll be able to turn things around. So we'll see you guys in our second match of the day. 0-1 uh, oh to start, but it's perfectly fine. It is what it is. Early day on the new ladder. These things are going to happen. Uh, peace out, guys. Moving on to game number two, we're taking on a team consisting of Iron Bundle, Obama Snow, Flutter, Main, Gyarados, Iron Hands, and a Moon Gus. Okay. So, looking at this, I feel like that, I mean, for once, you fucking massacres this team. The one real exception here would be uh, either a Random Terra, something like a Terra Water, Obama Snow, which is pretty likely. Uh, they usually do run that, or maybe like a Terra Fire, Iron Hands. Uh, but otherwise, it should be just Gyarados. Um... Most of these mods probably do have Terra actually around that, but it's fine. Only one of them can actually use it. Um, on top of it as well, Sylveon's also really strong. Their only fairy check is going to be the Amoongus, which should be pretty easy to manage. I think I'm going to lead off. I kind of want to just lead off with the same lead I did last time. Um, yeah, I'm going to lead off with the same lead I did last time. If they lead off with Bundle, that's fine. I can make that work. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll just probably switch in a hard into Vaporeon on that. And then just go for the Hyper Voice, because I could probably then pick it off with a Quick Attack. Um, so I'm gonna bring Vaporeon. Last one isn't gonna be Jolteon again, I don't think. I think that... I mean, I do have some merit with with uh, Umbreon here, but I think that ultimately... Hmm, I might bring... I'm not sure. So I don't... I do like the idea of taunting the Amoongus, at least if nothing else. So I think I am gonna go for that. But, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like it's my least bad option here, at least. Because I'm not gonna... Nope, I'm gonna bring the... Leafeon, because I could actually see myself towering Leafeon, and this would actually kind of give me a, fl a Fluttermane check, weirdly enough. <laughs> Most likely, it's probably going to click, like, well, I mean, it, it, that's the thing, it's probably not going to click a Ghost move, but at the very least, though, uh, Leafeon would be neutral to all of the Ice attacks, which is pretty cool if I go for Terra, and I can Leaf Blade through, like, the Veil, for example, uh, it's also decent for Terra Water or Bomb Snow, so I think I'm going to go for that. Uh, okay, they're going to lead off with Bundle of Bomb Snow, that's perfectly fine. 
Um, okay, so I do have a couple things here that I could do. Uh, for one, I could always go for a heat, uh, sunny day here. This would stop a bomb stuff from going for Veil. The issue being, though, is that this bundle is probably going to be, yep, booster energy. So there's a good chance that this could just be the Veil setting. So I don't really know. Uh, however, what I think I'm going to do instead, I think I am going to go into the Vaporeon here. And I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a, a Hyper Hoist into both these mons. I don't think I need to go for Terra Fairy just yet. I still do like the idea of using Leafeon for that, for the Terra Normal. But seeing the Hail Lead is perfectly fine. This does reveal a lot, of course. Um, So this is this is good. Booster Energy Bundle. And then I have the Bomb Snow with Snow Warning. Uh, they're going to have to switch into Amoongus here if they really want to keep a check to Sylveon. Otherwise, they're just going to take a ton of damage and starts from this uh, Hyper Voice. Even pre-throat spray, I think Bundle will just drop. Uh, they're going to probably have to click Protect if they want to not lose it, but at the same time, they might just go for aggressive and try and trade, uh, which also has some merit here. I'm a fairly specially leaning team. They're going to go for Terra, probably a Bomb Snow. Yep, a Bomb Snow. Probably going to be Terra Water. Yep, it is Terra Water. Okay, good to know. It's perfectly fine. Okay. So, this leads me to believe it's either AV or it's like clay with a fail, three attacks. They are going to go for the Hydro Pump. Perfect. Okay. And then a bomb snow does creep the Sylveon, which is good to know. Uh, we are quiet, so that's actually pretty likely, but still. So Aurora Veil. Type 4 should still do some decent damage. Yep, even pre uh even pre throat spray, that does a lot. Terror wouldn't have necessarily killed, but it might have given me a quick attack out for what it's worth. Uh, but this should be fine actually. What I can do, I can go for a protect here. And I'm gonna go for another hyper voice. Um this other hyper voice, uh wall bundle can definitely go for a protect of its own. Uh, the other Hyper Voice, at least, should be a decent turn for me, because I can then proceed to see if they didn't go for Protect, which is good. Um, next turn, even if I don't kill Bundle with this Hyper Voice, I can Quick Attack it, which should be good. And Bundle will have to, of course, be sacked at that point. Um, now, a Bomb Snow is obviously still annoying, because it can just go for the Giga Drains into my Vaporeon instead. But I'm so much less afraid of that, because of the fact that it means it's not clicking Blizzard, which is probably the scariest thing a Bomb Snow can do here. We do just kill the Bundle, actually. Uh, that must have been a roll, but... Regardless, I will definitely take it. Uh, and then meanwhile, this Abomb Snow is fairly weak at this point as well. Um, I do have a lot of options here, actually. I can go for Muddy Waters. I can go for Yawns. Uh, really, as long as that Iron Hands doesn't come in, I'm pretty set. Uh, they're going to bring in the Iron Hands. God damn it. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to go for a Yawn. Because I think they'll probably try and fake out the Sylveon. And I'm going to go for a Protect here. Uh, if they fake out my I, my Vaporeon, that's fine. I don't think they'll go for Fake Out into that, though. If they're going to try and go for Vaporeon, I think they're just going to Wild Charge. They do Fake Out the Sylveon. Okay, perfect. Uh, so this is working out pretty well so far. Uh, we're, we're honestly reading my opponent pretty well. Uh, they're going to go for Energy Ball. Okay, that's fine. We do still take that. Vaporeon is thankfully extremely spadef. And we can now yawn this Iron Hands. Only give it one turn before it goes to sleep. And that's pretty huge. This thing can't tear around my throat spray Sylveon either. Uh, it probably... There's a good chance it's AV. I think this team comp actually would really support AV Iron Hands. But I think I'm okay with that. We'll go for a Protect here. Meanwhile, I think I'm going to go for a Terra... Am I going to go for Terra Fairy just yet? I still don't know if I want to. I mean, Terra Fairy Sylveon would massacre my opponent. Um, what I could actually do, this might actually be a better play. Um, a little bit riskier, sure, but I think it is a better play. I'm going to go into Chiyu and I'm going to go for Terra Fairy Hyper Voice. I think Iron Hands is either going to switch out here and they're going to try and stop it from going to sleep, or B, their Iron Hands should definitely be slower than my than my Sylveon, unless they're like not minus speed and they have actual investment. Uh, which is good, because, yep, they are going to switch up the Iron Hands. Okay, perfect. So what are they going to bring in? Because my Sylveon going for Terra Fairy now is going to make sure that pretty much both Pokemon die unless it's Amoongus. Fluttermane. Perfect. That's a sack right there. Fluttermane now will die to Quick Attack on the next turn. Uh, even if it is Sash, and if it isn't, that's fine too. Fluttermane is such a weak fizz death, I'm sure we'll get a chance to kill it regardless. Meanwhile, I'll have this Shiu on the field as well, which is going to be really fucking terrifying. This Abomasnow is now complete fodder, and I should be able to pick up the win here. Uh, they're actually going to protect. Okay, good play by my opponent. So we know they only have stabs, protect, and aura avail. I really thought they'd have earth powers move three, but this is still honestly not a big deal. Uh, I could probably just lock into heat wave because even with the bombs no, and as a terra water type, it is so low that this won't really matter. So we're going to go for a heat wave here. Um, I could also just go for sunny day. Now, sunny day would have some merit too in the end game. Um, but I think that I do kind of like the idea of going for sunny day. Mostly just because of the fact that I think it helps Leafeon pick up a good win con. So I am... Nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Wait, that helps Fluttermane. That helps Fluttermane too. I'm going to go for Heat Wave. And then I'll go for a Hyper Voice. No, I'm going to go for a Protect here. Because I'll at least kill the Abomb Snow, and that's the important thing. Abomb Snow, I know that it is Terra Water and it's behind Veil, but I feel like this will still definitely drop. 
to the uh, Chi Heat Wave. Because it doesn't have a lot of health, and it's probably not like AV. Well, it's definitely not AV. Perfect. We killed both. Okay, so they are just down to Iron Hands, which is perfect. Uh, no matter what, they can't actually beat my team here. Because, essentially, they're in a point where they can only Fake Out one of my mods. And Fake Out doesn't actually gain them a lot either, which is good. Their Veil should also just end any turn now. I think they have one turn. Oh, perfect. I got a Veil now. So they weren't Light Clay. They weren't they weren't Assault Vest. I'm curious what item they were. Uh, maybe they were Sash. Sash actually could be a likely option. Uh, just to guarantee Veil up there. It seemed like they did have a not minus speed of Bomber Snow, which personally, I'm uh, actually, no, I say personally, but I actually ran like 100 speed when I ran mine. Because uh, I was going to say, they might be going for, well, they might not have wanted to go minus speed just to try and get that off sooner. But at the same time, though, that's really only something you do with like a Sash, like an offensive item. And they didn't have an offensive item either, unless it was Belt. Regardless, though, we're one on one for the day. We'll see you guys in our next match. Until then, peace out, guys. Moving on to game number three, we're taking on a team consisting of Umbreon. Flutter main, Gyarados, Ting Lu, Shi Yu, and a Bulma Snow. Okay. So looking at this, ah, uh, so it's another team with a Bomb Snow. Is this like something that's picking up now in the metagame suddenly? Because I feel like I feel like that a Bomb Snow is pretty decent. I'm just kind of shocked to see it as all. Well. Um, I don't know. So the Leafeon looks really good here. Uh, Leafeon with the Terra Normal could actually be a decent breaker late game. Uh, I think that leading off with. I could also maybe just lead off like Chiu, but the issue is if they lead off with Fluttermain, which is pretty likely. Um, because I I think a Chiu Fluttermain will just lead from them. I could definitely try and take advantage of that and counter lead it. I'm just not sure how. So I think that Vaporeon on lead could be decent. Uh, Vaporeon Sylveon could actually be a really strong lead. Uh, I think that they are going to definitely lead off with their Chiu Fluttermain. And then just leading it to Chiu Spadef Pokemon that can also do deal some good damage will be huge. I'm going to bring Chiu in the back, I think. And then... I think I am going to bring the Leafeon here. I think the Leafeon could be decent. They might also just lay off for like a Bomb Snow, which is fine. I don't mind it on Bomb Snow lead because I feel like it's probably going to click fail, most likely. Um, well, I mean, actually, do they need fail? Maybe if they're offensive Gyarados, but I don't think it's offensive Gyarados on this team. They might just be support with like three attack protect because it is a decent ground check still. Um, and it, it, with like the right Terra, it could actually be a really strong, great Tusk check too. Um, I'm curious about what they're going to go for here. They're going to lead with Flutterman and Umbreon. Okay. So, similar sort of lead, but not the same. Uh, essentially, what they're trying to do, they're trying to go for Snarls, which I'm fine with that. Uh, we'll go for Yawn into Flutterman, and I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice here. Uh, I'll at least match the drop, and we'll find out as well if this Umbreon's minus speed. It probably isn't, to be honest. Uh, Umbreon sometimes wouldn't pass formats, but it doesn't really need to in this current one. Yawn into Fluttermane, that's perfect. Uh, I can then proceed to go for a, a dual protect in the next turn, and then Yawn the Umbreon. Uh, yeah, they do literally no damage. I don't even think Sylveon actually took any damage, to be completely honest. Or if it did, it was literally one point of damage, and I just misremembered the health number. Perfect, okay. It's really popping a Throat Spray here, which is good. Um, I'm actually going to Yawn the Umbreon with my Vaporeon, and I'm going to go for a Protect here on my Sylveon. Uh, mostly just because Vapor and I can protect from the following turn and be fine. Um, I could also just go for like a Muddy Water, which could be decent, but I don't know if I really want to. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go for a Yawn, I think, into the Vaporeon, and I am going to go for a Protect here. Uh, it's definitely going to probably force- I feel like Fluttermane will switch here. I don't know if Umbreon will, but I think that Fluttermane definitely will switch. Uh, just to try and preserve the fact that this will not be asleep. And they could definitely go into like a Tinglu, for example. Or, uh, okay, no, they're, they're just going to let this go to sleep. That's fine. I don't mind this at all, actually. Um, They're going to go for Dazzling Gleam yet again. That's fine. The Poran will have to take that, but I'm still okay with this. Uh, Fluttermane is not going to deal enough damage. And this should be really strong for my Sylveon. Let's see. Uh, they're going to go for Yawn. Ooh, they're going for Yawn into Sylveon. Now, I'm kind of curious. I feel like I feel like it might be worthwhile to just switch out, uh, just switch out the Vaporeon here. I think I'm gonna go for Protect actually. I'm gonna try and just go for Protect, and I'm gonna go for a. Hmm. No, no. I think I'm gonna go for Muddy Water. I think a Muddy Water here should be a little bit better. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go for a Muddy Water. Try and drop some accuracy, and then I think I'm just gonna go for a. I think I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice. Uh, just try to get some damage. I know I'll be minus one, but I'm fine with that. Oh, they just forfeit. Okay, well, I'll take that. Uh, we're going to get into game number three then. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next match. Peace out, guys.
Moving to game number four, we're taking on Dundozo, Tatsugiri, Chi Yu, Ting Lu, Flutter Main, and a uh, Moon Gus. Okay. So looking at this, uh, Dundozo Giri should be pretty manageable. We know that Leafeon is probably a good check now. Oh. Hmm. So I think they're gonna lead off with like. So they they can definitely go with like a stall aspect to this team. And I don't really know how I'd break it. Uh, my best ways would probably be like the Suncore, I think. I think Suncore is really good here, actually. Suncore should be amazing here. Uh, the Umbreon could actually be a decent option, uh, but I'm not really too sure. I think the issue with Umbreon is just the Fluttermane existing. Um, and also the fact that really it's only Fluttermane she helps with. Um, I think I'm actually going to lead off with this. I think I'm going to lead off with Fluttermane. And I think I'm going to bring Fluttermane and Chiyu on lead. No, I think I'm going to bring... I think I'm gonna bring Flutterman and Chiyu, yeah. Because I think my Chiyu will trade, which is fine. I'll bring Jolteon and Leafeon in the back. And I think it should be good. I don't know if I'm just not playing the Umbreon right, but I don't feel like it's had the bringability of the other five. Um, I get its role here, and I think its role is very important. But at the same time, I feel like even something like a Glaceon might have had more merit in, like, his Hail matchups, for example. Uh, however, at the same time, though, I think that Umbreon's role is so unique. Um, maybe, maybe Vaporeon should just, well, no. Yeah, maybe if a poor end should have actually just benched, I'll double down on that one. You're gonna have a Chiyu and Dendozo. That's such a weird core to lead with, but I'm fine with it. Like, I'm very fine with that lead, but my god, is that a weird core to lead with. Okay. Um, is there is a good chance that they just go for a... They should go for a Tatsugiri right now. I'm gonna yawn into the Dozo spot, and I'm gonna go for a Sunny Day here. Sunny Day should at least we can wave crash damage. And also on top of that, the Sunny Day should be decent for the Leafeon in the following turn. Just to make sure we outpace even uh, Speed Boosted Dozo. So they are going to bring in Tatsugiri. We've ruled out Do Dozo, Tatsugiri, and the Chiyu. Which is fine. Um, okay. So this should be easy. Um, we're going to at least get the Sunny Day up. So Wave Crash should be doing less damage, thankfully. Uh, which does actually help a lot because we don't have Vaporeon here. Um, it'll also make sure that my Leafeon can just deal some real damage with the Leaf Blade here. If they don't kill for some reason, okay, they're going to definitely kill Chiyu. Uh, I'm still fine with that, because this Yawn will go off, and then I can probably just go for Protect, and then just start killing off the team really quickly. Uh, they're going to bank on the Dozer Tatsugiri here, which is great, because I think that I actually do have real win cons outside of that. So I'll go for Dual Protect, and then I'm going to proceed to go for Leaf Blade plus the Hyper Voice. I'm just going to try and kill this thing really quickly. Uh, Leafeon will obviously be a really strong way around this Pokemon, so I'll definitely take that. So we'll go for Protect, and we'll go for Protect. I might go for Terra Fairy. Looking at this team, uh, so I might need Jolteon actually to go for Terra Ice. That could be useful for like the Amoongus matchup, for example. Um, it's going to depend on what Mon number 4 is. If we can figure out Mon 4, that would help a lot with figuring out our play here. But we'll go for Earthquake, both Mons are Void, that's perfectly fine. Uh, truthfully, I could have probably went for a Leaf Blade plus a Protect into Sylveon, uh, but it's mostly just in case they have like a Terra Flying Terra Blast last second. Uh, I know the Terra Blast is typically mostly only run in Grass these days, but I've seen it occasionally on, on Flying for stuff like Amoongus matchups, and I don't really want to get caught by that. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna burn the Terra Fairy because no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say not Terra. I think I kind of have to say not Terra. We'll go for Leaf Blade into Dozo, and then I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice. Uh, Leaf Blade is a high crit rate anyway. Um, we did not get the crit, but we did a lot of damage actually to that. Holy shit. This is definitely some sort of offensive Dozo, and I think that realistically, uh, because of how typically low spadef Dozo is, I think I could probably kill it with the Hyper Voice here plus the Leaf Blade. Yeah, Leaf Blade looks like it'll kill. That's going to be great. Um, worst case scenario, I'll just go for a... I think I'm going to try and go for the Hyper Voice anyway. Um, I know this is a little bit less of an optimal play, but the reasoning for it is because I'm pretty sure I'll kill anyway, and then I can net attack the Tatsugiri for a lot better damage. Whereas if I went for quick attack and ensure the Dozo kill, I'd have to deal with the full health Tatsugiri later on. And even if this is a Focus Ash set, I can quick attack it next turn, and I think I'll get, again, a lot more mileage out of that. But see here, we just killed two of their Pokemon, and I still have my Sun Boosted Leafeon. Uh, really, the only thing that will remotely check that is going to be the Fluttermane, but I still have my Terra Fairy anyway. I mean, not my Terra Fairy, my Terra Normal. Uh, but I don't, I still don't know if I'll pop it. I might just go for the Terra Fairy on my, on uh, my, uh, Sylvia on, and just go for, yep, okay. So I think I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for Quick Attack, and I'm gonna go for Leaf Blade, and I'm just gonna take out, is it Special Attack or Speed Boosting? Speed, okay. So, 
I think I'm gonna definitely go for a quick attack into the Flutter main. Um, question of the day. How fast is Leafeon? I think I might just outpace a plus two. Oh yeah, we definitely outpace a plus two, that's great. Okay, so I can take out the thing right away. I think I'm gonna Terra Normal just to get rid of my weakness to Chiyu. Do I think it'll matter? Not necessarily. I'm actually gonna take out the Chiyu, fuck it. We'll take out Chiyu here. I think the Chiyu's probably Scarfed anyway. And I think that I'll get more mileage out of this. Because I think that Fluttermane might actually have Sash. And it might click Protect this turn to try and preserve it. So they can then take out both these Pokemon and win with uh, Fluttermane Link game. So I'm gonna gamble. I truly do think this is a full-on 50-50. If my opponent calls it, well played to my opponent. But I do believe this is a wholehearted 50-50 here. They are gonna Terra. Literally just don't go Terra Ghost. You have no reason to go Terra Ghost here. They're Fluttermane. Okay, thank god. They're going for Terra Fairy. Perfect. Okay. So Fluttermane is probably clicking an offensive move. The question is, is the Chiyu going for an offensive move? Um, don't go for an offensive move, Chiyu. Oh, thank god. Okay. So Chiyu is Massacred. That's perfect. We've now gotten rid of their Pokemon Special Attack Drop, their Sun Abuser, their best way to break my two Pokemon right now. The critical hit did not matter. Then, yeah, Fluttermane cannot win this game. I don't even think it breaks Sylveon properly. Um, Leafeon it might, to be honest. We did take a lot of damage from that. Even still, I still have the Jolteon, actually. Which might be able to do some work. Um, okay, perfect. So, this is huge. Because thanks to the Jolteon's Focus Sash, I can Quick Attack and go for a Thunder Wave here. Or no, I think I go for Thunderbolt. Sunlight Faded. Okay, perfect. So, Fluttermane's going to drop in speed. Um, so, Jolteon might even outpace this, actually, which is huge. Um, okay, booster energy. Okay, so it's booster. Okay. Um, good to know. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. So, I think what I need to do... Hmm. Let me see how much my Thunderbolt should do. Jolteon, 2 2 Thunderbolt versus... Flutter main. I might have just gotten got. Ooh, that does nothing. Holy shit. I'm gonna go for a quick attack here. And I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt here. I need to hope that the Thunderbolt is what pull pairs. Yeah, because that's not gonna do any real damage. And their Flutter main is gonna outpace. That's. I'm pretty sure this thing just kills. Oh, which is fine. It's. Yeah. Okay. So they kill Sylveon. Crit on Jolteon really doesn't. I, well, actually, I think they crit the Sylveon to begin with. Um, I need this to full parry. That's the only way I actually win this. Um, We do not. Okay. Good play by my opponent. They just played better. Um, I still think this was the right play. I guess Thunder Wave could have missed anyway, and I needed to full parry them regardless. That was always something I had to do. Um, So without the full parry, I always lost that. Um, So I still stand by it. I guess, so actually, I guess in theory, for what it's worth, Thunder Wave gave me more of a chance to do that. I still guarantee hit anyway. Well, not guarantee hit. I still got the guaranteed one attack off with Thunderbolt anyway. So maybe I should have done that. Maybe the reward would have been a little better. I feel like it's still debatable. I think it is still debatable if that was the smarter play to make or not. Um, but regardless though, we're two and two for the day. That still is pretty good. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did and you want to see some, actually, I think we might be a little higher. Uh, what was our end set? I think we're two and two. Um, yeah, we're gonna go down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are two and two. Yep. Yeah, okay. So we're two and two for now. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you want to use the team yourselves, link to the rental and the pace down below, as well as the person who made the team. If you enjoyed and you want to see some more content like this, of course, like and subscribe. Uh, and answer comment question of the day: What is your favorite evolution to using competitive? Uh, with that said, shout outs to our channel members, of course, being Josh K Ultra Player, Mia Zeke Zero, Matt O'Shea, Bebat, Ana Dupur, Timo Mueller, Fonzi, Bam Bambi, Rao Plays, Obo, and Johannes B. You guys' support is greatly appreciated, and if you want to become a channel member today, uh, link to that is down below with the join button. I know I forgot to do the channel poll. It, I've already scheduled it. I just scheduled it right before recording this for 5 p.m. EST. So make sure you guys vote on that. We're going to be doing a mon breakdown guide. Uh, I'm going to try and make this one in particular some more fun mons, but if you guys want to see some more serious stuff, you can comment those down below as well. I figured, though, it might make things a little bit more interesting to cover something you guys might not be thinking of to use in competitive. Uh, so that's why I think it'll be a little bit better to try and pick, like, not objective top tiers, if you will. But if you guys want to see a particular mon, though, comment that on the poll as well. And I'll mention that in the poll for you guys. Uh, but with that said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.